Hi guys, it's LV for House of Color. Hi guys, it's LV for House of Color. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a beauty con recap. I want to share with you guys everything that was involved and all the things that I did and all the things that I saw. It was a really, really great experience for me. It was my first year going and in fact I wasn't going to go. Evelina Berry, she told me that I should really consider going and I'm so glad that she um, you know, told me to do so because I had the most wonderful time. It was one of the best weekends I've ever had. I left Vegas about Thursday afternoon and I got into LA. I'm by um, the YouTube space and I am just touching my makeup with my coffee bean and getting ready to head over there. So I'll see you guys. Thursday's event was called like industry night and that was for all the youtubers we had a bunch of panelists speaking and telling us about how they got their start and you know any advice they had for all of us that watched them all these years so yeah. Sophia Bush, if you did watch One Tree Hill, come on! I was sitting there in the audience watching this panel speaking and Candy Johnson, who is so sweet by the way, she said something that just really stuck out to me. She said, no matter how good you are, no matter how amazing you are, and no matter how perfect you are, there's always going to be somebody that is going to hate on you. She said, you know, for instance, like she would write, oh, today's a beautiful day. And somebody's like, oh my God, I hate sunny days. They're so disgusting and they're so hot. And it's just like hilarious because it's true. So you kind of have to beat the haters off. She made a really valid point. And then one other thing that she said to me that really, really, really stuck out to me is that when you enter a room, you really want to bring substance to the room. You know, you don't want to walk in there with your nose up and say, oh, okay, I'm better than this place or, you know, I'm better than these people. You want to be the person that makes everybody better. And I just thought like, that's such an amazing thing to say. She's so positive. She's so sweet. And I'm so glad like I went to the industry night and listened to the panel. And I got to meet a lot of really amazing, amazing people. Um, excuse me. And then they had several booths set up. And they also gave you like a little beauty con gift bag. But I think they ran out. So <laughs> I didn't get one. After Thursday night's event, we were, you know, free to do whatever we wanted to do that night. And then the next day was Friday's pool party over at the Roosevelt Hotel. It was my first time at the Roosevelt and it was so beautiful. And I remember watching the hills back in the day. There were several events and parties that took place at the Roosevelt Hotel. So it was really cool to be there and um, to meet everybody again. It wasn't so like chaotic and there wasn't cameras around. Everyone was like in their bathing suits and hanging out and mingling and drinking. So during the pool party, I got to have my eyebrows done by Kelly Baker. And let me just tell you, I am so nervous when people do my brows or my makeup. Um, the makeup, I'm not so worried about because of course you can always wash that off. But my eyebrows, I don't think I've ever really allowed anybody to do my brows just because I'm so picky about it. Let's just rewind for a minute. During Thursday night's event, I actually sat next to Kelly. Friday afternoon, I sat down and we conversed a little bit and she did my brows. And <laughs> I'm sorry, Kelly, if you're watching this, but I was really nervous. <laughs> I didn't know if I was gonna get like super chola eyebrows and like McDonald arches. You know, you're just scared. <laughs> she did my brows and I took the mirror and I looked at myself and I was like 
oh my gosh they look amazing i was very impressed I don't know if, if you could see but it's just very clean she said that she gave me like celebrity eyebrows which is like super hot right <laughs> so after getting my brows done I went around the pool and I mingled with everyone I got to talk to Winnie and Jessica Winnie is from the Sassafras and Jessica's from the style segment and we got to hang out and you know the girls are just so sweet I think the best part of meeting people is that you know you watch these um, these people through the screen and I watch them I really feel like they're talking to me and when I see them in real life I feel like I'm watching them on the screen like their mannerisms and the way they talk if they talk with their hands or if they do like a head thing or if they blink a lot like it it's live right in front of you so I thought that was pretty cool and so I got to meet um, like Shameless Maya do you bo just do you she's friends <laughs> and um Sunkiss Alba and everybody was so sweet it was a really great time and then I also got to meet Carissa from Saturday Nights All Right I believe that's her YouTube name I'll have everything linked in the description box I got to meet her and she was so sweet so so sweet literally I felt like I was watching her on a screen like her manners mannerisms and the way she spoke and like her smile and everything was just so genuine so Saturday's event um, was in West Hollywood at Siren Studios and I really didn't know what to expect. The event started at 10 a.m. and I was talking to one of the moms. She said that she was there at 6.45 in the morning. Hey guys, I'm sitting here with one of um, the moms that came to BeautyCon and she has a little story to tell us. So we left at about, I think, 6 a.m. to make sure that we were here early. Got here about 6.45. Uh, nobody was here, so ran across the street, got his bike to eat, and then came back. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, so we're having a great time. Girls are running around, having a good time but as well. But you know what? Good thing you did because the line is literally like, I don't know, all the way to the Hollywood. I but saw it. It is packed. Crazy. Packed. It's great crazy. time. Girls are having a good time, so come back next year the line was so long like I can't even stress enough how long the line was apparently it wrapped around the building for blocks and like some people waited like five hours and they couldn't even get in I feel so bad you know I really wish that everyone had the opportunity to come in and at least like say hi I got to Siren Studios at around 11:30, and um, fortunately I got in right away there was a whole bunch of booths set up Bare Minerals was there, Uber was there. If you guys don't know what Uber is, it's an app where it's like a car service. I think it's better than a taxi. You pay a little bit more. It shows you like how far the car is and actually it shows the car on the map coming to your destination and it also shows a picture of the driver and his or her name. So I'm really glad that I got this Uber card because it really did come in handy that night. You get a little Beautycon um, goodie bag for coming and then there's a bunch of stuff inside so I actually haven't really gone through it so we'll go through it together I went to the different booths and the different brands the platform had their own room style hall had their own room and there were different brands that were there to like either do makeup for instance like bare minerals was there and they were doing like you know free mini makeovers for people cult Gaia was there. Cult Gaia is like a flower crown company and they were so sweet. They had like probably one of the longest lines there because they were literally making fresh flower crowns for everyone. And they gave me one and I thought I lost it but I found it. Okay so I put it in my bag because I didn't want to lose it and then I thought somebody stole it from me but then when I came home I found it so I actually stole it from myself. This flower crown is so cute. Bellamy hair was there. Here it is. Bellamy hair, yay! They were so so sweet. They had like an entourage of five super hot girls working their booth. I saw the girls walk around in their 
Bellamy hair like shirts and I was like gawking the whole time like oh my god what hot planet did you guys walk on because you guys look amazing they look like goddesses I swear props to that they had a beautiful team so let's go through the beauty con bag okay all right so ooh, big sexy hairspray yay I got some makeup from LA Colors. I got some eyeshadow and it looks like lip gloss and a jumbo eye pencil. So three things. Oh, and then I also got lipsticks from Bare Minerals in the color Rebel. Cheek Satin from City Color. Yay. Those are cool products. I think that's it. Now, I know a lot of you guys, um, you know, waited in line a really long time and I know, you know, you couldn't get in or you had a horrible experience and it was so hot that day. You know, I really appreciate everyone that came out. I mean, not that everyone was there to see me, but, you know, you guys really made an effort to come out and see all of us and it's unfortunate that you guys couldn't come in. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give you guys my goodie bag so if you guys attended beautycon or attempted to attend beautycon and you couldn't get in um i'm gonna give you guys my goodie bag and i'm gonna put whatever i can in there like for instance i can't put this hairspray in there because it's flammable so if you want to win this goodie bag make sure that you are subscribed to me and just leave me a comment Tell me that you went. Just tell me whatever you want. Let's extend this giveaway um, two weeks from the release of this video. I'll send you guys your BeautyCon goodie bag. So I didn't get a lot of footage over the weekend, but that's because I was like having such a good time that I just did not want to work. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm a bad vlogger, right? If you guys have Instagram, my username is House of Color, and make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. It was kind of unreal to see my video playing at the So Trendy after party and the YouTubers were there including 11th Gorgeous, that's them sitting right there. And then while I was driving home, there was a big storm behind me and that was kind of scary. I literally had the time of my life and I didn't want it to end but I'm so glad I have these pictures to look back on. If we took one together, hashtag me at House of Color so I can see it and I have all my pictures up on my blog at houseofcolorblog.com. I cannot wait for next year. It is going to be epic. Love you guys. Bye.